Hey guys, this is Macho Meister, and today I'm going to tell you how to get out of the respring loop in your iPod Touch 4G. Uh, this might work on other devices, but as long as far as I know, the iPod Touch is the only one that I have. After upgrading to iOS 5.1, I did a reinstall of all my sources and tweaks that I had. And after I did folders and folders, my iPod got stuck in a respringing loop. And the question I had was, how do I get out of this without restoring my iPod again? Because I made a mistake earlier and I have to restore everything all over again. So I'm going to explain how to get out of this. And this is all thanks to a website that I found on the internet. And the website is uh, cityahelp.com. I will put the full link in the description. So basically, when I went there, he has a list of all the apps and tweaks that are compatible with iOS 5.1 or iOS 5. And over there it said, folder and folder, folders and folders is not compatible, and he had uh, the way to get out of it. So basically, the first thing you have to do is make sure that you're in the respringing loop, because if you keep in the respringing loop for a while, the iPod uh, stops respringing and goes into the boot logo, the Apple, and stays there. So you have to get it back into the respringing loop. The way to do this is whichever way you, obviously 5.1 as of now is a tethered boot, so whichever way you boot tethered every single time, you have to do it again, and then it's going to start respringing again and again. So once you're in there, you're going to have to open up an SSH program. I like using iFunbox. It's relatively easy to use and uh, easy to download and it's free and once you get into iPhone box you're gonna basically you can have to go to search and the latest version that I have right now the search is on the on the bottom of the left hand side where everything is it says file search results it's the fourth to last uh, item on the list and once you click on file search results you're gonna type in folders and folders that's the that's a long way to do it because it's going to take time till it searches for it. If you want, you could do it manually. And the way to do this is you're going to have to go into raw file system. And in raw file system, you're going to you're going to click on raw file system, then you're going to click on library. After library, you're going to click on mob mobile substrate. And in mobile substrate, you're going to click on dynamic libraries. In dynamic libraries, you should see two icons one which is uh, it has like a quick time icon on it and the other one is like an unknown file icon both of them should say folders and folders just delete those two and then you should be fine it should respring one more time and then your iPod should start I'm gonna post everything uh, I'm gonna type everything in the description below so I uh, hope this helps any of somebody out because it really helped me and uh, enjoy